Then the last part of that word, unum, uni, the unicycle, the unicorn, the one in the motto of the United States, e pluribus, unum, from the many, one. Uh, the root word of the word unite, united, union. Uh, union's not in the Bible. But I have to say, confederate is in three times. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Genesis 14, 13. Psalms 85, 3. And Isaiah 7, 2. Thank you, that was free. United. Genesis 49, 6. In a negative sense. Don't be tied up with Reuben and uh, Simeon because they're terrorists. And they'll get you in trouble because they can't hold their temper back. Amen? Uh, watch who you're united with. Look out to who you are uh, tied up to. When we think of that word union, what God had joined together, let no man put asunder. The reason why is God so hung up on marriage being from death Till death do us part. You know, is God just a prude and not interested in people having fun? Or, you know, got to keep the same boring old thing. You can't switch off and get a fresh new start. <laughs> I understand that people fail and things happen. And I, and I know all about that. But God don't fail. And what marriage is. It is a picture of the relationship of you and the Lord Jesus Christ as a believer. And if marriage is something that can just be dissolved with at the drop of a hat, then your security as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ is on shaky ground. Amen? Uh, but what God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. We are looking at a picture of the relationship of the believer. And it's from till death do us part. And if I recall uh, that, oh grave, where is thy victory in death? Where is thy sting? Uh, because that the Lord was quickened and made a alive, how that we were dead in sins and we were raised together with him, how that he ever lives to make intercession for us. He's never going to die, and so that means that our marriage is never going to be dissolved. That means that I'm eternally secure in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank God for that union, that uniting of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I, I brought a little something this morning here. Uh, just to finish up, some of you DYI folks. Anybody know what that is? No plumbers here? That's a union. Amen. A union has two parts. I'll throw this in for free too. I get this right. Yeah, yeah. This is a female of a union. And this is a female of a union. Now, if you got this in your water system, your basement's going to flood. Well, I don't care. You can call that a union all you want to. But that ain't a union. That don't work. You can turn around the other way. You can put both males on there and, and guess what? It don't tie together. It don't work that way. That's because there was an engineer that designed this thing to take two separate things. You know this here? Same, same thing. I've got this pipe and i got this pipe and although they're both pipes, they, there has to be something come between them or they will be separated the information or the water or the gas or whatever's passing through this pipe in order for it to be shared with this pipe there has to be something come between them there has to be something join them together 
And when you recognize that you are an alien and an outcast and a stranger from God and without hope and without promise, uh, that you didn't have any way at all that you could connect to God, God is dispensing His grace and mercy, and He has a dispensation for grace and mercy, but you know you don't have any vehicle by which you can participate in the grace and mercy of God because you can't get tied into Him. Uh, but aren't you glad that there was a union that came down from heaven, uh, that the Lord Jesus Christ filled the gap uh, between heaven and earth and between God and man. And when you get plugged into Him, uh, you get tied into God and e pluribus unum. From the many becomes one. And you and I, uh, when you stop and think about it for a minute, uh, we are not deity, but we become one with deity. Uh, we become one in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now if we were saw by God in our current condition of our flesh, if we were to approach God in this condition without that mediator between us, uh, then we wouldn't have much hope at all of being anything to God but a reproach because we're sinners and with a sin nature and we don't have a tie to God through that. Uh, but thank God for the Lord Jesus Christ uh, that became my mediator, uh, that wretched out of heaven and got a hold of the hand of God, uh, being God, and wretched down to earth and got a hold of me and said what God had joined together I let no man put asunder amen and we've got a marriage we've got a wedding we are married to him we are put together and because of that uh, we have uh, accepted in the beloved we have a nature a godly nature uh, we are united with him we are one with him amen. Amen. that pipe didn't do anything It could, it could go the rest of its existence. It can't do anything. It takes another power outside of when uh, somebody to pick it up and to put it together and to make it a part of a whole uh, what can't be separated. And now that grace and mercy that God's dispensing uh, that I couldn't get a hold of now it flows through me uh, because I'm tied into Him. Uh, because we're partners together. Uh, we're tied together. And whatever uh, comes through Him, I'm a joint heir with the Lord Jesus Christ. What God's going to give to Him, I'm going to partake of. I'm going to be part of because I'm part of Him. Uh, why does God not cast me out? Because He doesn't see me. He sees His Son when He looks at me. Uh, because I'm hiding behind the Lord Jesus Christ. And everything that He gives to Jesus, I get to partake of. I am so thankful uh, that I am part of the union. I've been united in Him. And uh, when we think about that communion, a remembrance of what He did for us, what was it that He did for us? Well, He took and tied us together. Uh, when we were separated, He put us together with him and united us with him he took over the responsibility he took over the burden of that shared responsibility he said I'll take responsibility for him I'll make him part of the family of God and every time uh, that we eat the bread and drink the cup it should be a reminder to us of just what he did and our standing today I'm in the family of God. I am hooked up to my beloved, the Lord Jesus Christ. I partake of deity, not because I'm a God, but because I am in the family. I'm a joint heir. Whatever he has, I get to have. Amen. Communion. Have you had communion? Are you linked up to the right source? How's your life this morning? You need a relationship. Communion is exchanging information. That's prayer. That's reading your Bible. That's communing with Him, together with Him. The picture of the marriage. If you stop talking to your wife, if you and your wife are not on good terms, if there's no... Uh, intimacy in your marriage what have you got you ain't got nothing amen 
you got trouble, amen, that's right. But a family that's together is strong. That union will hold in spite of whatever troubles and trials come because we're tied together. The security of the believer, thank God for communion with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, all right, it's, it's, it's quitting time. <laughs>